The globalized economies and more complex supply chain that have been developed during the last few decades have brought many benefits to consumer and corporations. But now more than ever, supply chain disruptions have made it impossible to ignore downsides of the complex supply chain. A significant challenge faced by companies in supply chain management is the lack of visibility beyond their tier one suppliers. The limited visibility make it challenging for companies to make data-driven decisions in terms of supply chain risk avoidance. Furthermore, companies that prioritize sustainability-related issues and aim to reduce their environmental impacts face difficulty in assessing the alignment of their suppliers with their goals. The lack of visibility beyond tier one suppliers prevents companies from accessing important information such as supplier performance, ethical practices, and environmental impact, such that leads to an increased supply chain risks. This limited visibility can also make it difficult to monitor compliance with sustainability-related standards and regulations. Our team has developed an approach to gain some insight into complex supply chain networks. With the help of natural language processing techniques, we have worked on an approach to help companies increase their visibility into their supply chain, especially when it comes to sustainability. The logic behind our solution revolved around gathering and processing of instruction news articles. We ended up with more than 4 million news articles and 4,000 suppliers, which we then used to gather insights from. So we initially developed a pipeline to extract all the articles from the database, and we created our own custom dictionary of around 200 words using advanced word embedding models, which is a powerful way to identify keywords related to sustainability. We then selected all the companies that were being talked about in the articles and matched them with a list of suppliers that we were interested in. We then selected only the sustainability-related articles to subsequently classify them as negative or positive depending on the content of the article. By doing this, we were able to construct a score system that would assign sustainability risk scores to every single company based on the articles that were processed, which is a great tool to gain some visibility, not only for specific suppliers, but also for regions where their suppliers are from. Once we obtained the scores, we were able to offer insights as a more data-driven approach to decision-making, circumventing parts of downsides of complex supply chain networks. In conclusion, we believe that the final ESG score obtained using our approach can help companies proactively manage sustainability-related factors that can contribute to risks such as environmental impact, social responsibility, and ethical practices. Companies that employ our approach will not only be able to align their suppliers' list to their sustainability goals, but also they can gain insights that can be useful to avoid other supply chain risks that can disrupt the company's operations or even affect their financial stability.